Okay, now we're going to do the final render here. And um, there's a couple of other little things we can do. But uh, again, I'm going to zoom out and extend so that we're back to our default where we can see everything. I can rotate this around. I want to right click on the blue dot. And I'm going to, for the final render, it's going to be here. We're going to go to custom and it's going to be 750 by 600. And that's what our final render size is going to be. So when we render it, it will turn out to be an 8x10. And so that may look slightly different than what your actual render viewport window is. But there's some other little things that we can do. Um, I'm going to right click on the blue dot, go down here to environment. I can change this to whatever I, I want. Um, but I can also turn on some clouds. And I can change the colors of clouds. I can change the color of the uh, the sky. Um, I can play around with that a lot. I can change the scale of the clouds. Um, that's just going to be have to be something that you um, play around with a little bit yourself. Um, I can make 3D clouds. Uh, looks a little bit different. I can turn the sun on uh, down here at the sun. I can turn it on. I can choose the month of the day, the time of day. So sometimes when it's real dark, if you ch have the sun on, but then you check the clock, the time may be in the middle of the night. So you may have to adjust this to some other time period of the day. This is really good for architectural rendering if you're building something new and you want to match up the, uh, the way the sun would be at a certain time to match up with maybe a photograph that you already have. So you have to do a little bit of playing around there. Um, the global planting season later on when we start putting trees in you may want to put spring um, flowering trees or fall trees or whatever. Um, you can do all those different kinds of things. So um, there's a lot of stuff to be messed around with here but the main thing is making the width of 750 and the height 600 and then we can hit OK. Um, try and see what our render looks like now. You may end up having to add some spotlights. We've got some clouds here and it's a um, but we've got a little stronger shadow so we may end up having to put a, a spotlight in here somewhere to lighten him up a bit. So that's going to that's going to take a little bit of an art here to uh, go through and and some messing around to find out what's going to look good and what's not going to look good for the sky and for things. Um, again, I think we're at the really the wrong scale because you can see how pixelated this water is and we really probably need to change the scale back to feet instead of inches. Um, so anyway, then uh, at uh, 750 by 600, you can render that, save the render um, as a TIFF, and then you can put that in Photoshop and double check and make sure that it's the right size. And then when you go to print, make sure that it is set on landscape.